to Susanna's Kitchen. Thank you for clicking on this video and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button for me. So my husband loves squid calamari and that is what I am making for him today. Now, of course, a deep fried version is absolutely delicious, but well, let's see if we can make it in the air fryer, make it that bit healthier, but still get a gorgeous crunchy exterior, but not overcooked calamari, because that is not what we're after. It's gonna cook really, really fast in the air fryer. We're gonna preheat it, which is one of my tips with this recipe, to make sure when they go in, you've already got that heat, so we've got less cooking time, and they're not gonna go all horrible and rubbery. If you want a full copy of the recipe, don't forget that that is available over at my website, www.susannaskitchen.uk, and all my recipes are on there, they're all printable, and you can sign up if you wish to. If not, follow along with the video and you'll be able to make these at home as well. Of course, you don't have to have the Ninja Foodie like I do, you can make these in any air fryer. So just before we start cooking, I just need to remind you, don't forget to subscribe. I have loads of people that watch my videos but aren't actually subscribed and it really does help me so much if you just click on that subscribe button below. It's free and easy to do. You can turn on the notification bell if you want to and that way um, YouTube will let you know when I upload a video. So that's up to you, but let's go and cook some calamari. To make my air fryer calamari, we start off with 100 mils of water, putting that in my bowl and I'm going to mix that together with one large egg. There we go, egg in. Let's give that a mix. Always seems weird, doesn't it, putting egg and water and trying to mix that together, but it does come together. We want a little bit of salt in there as well. I've got my scales underneath and I can measure in my flour. And basically what we're doing is we're making a batter here. Let's get it onto grams. It's around 50-ish grams, I think. Should be enough. If I don't spill most of it everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's do 50 and see if I think that's enough. Just really having a look at the texture here. Now it is going to be quite a wet batter and I'm good with that. Just want to keep mixing to get rid of those flowery lumps. You can sift in the flour if you prefer. I think that looks pretty good actually. Let's see how we get on with that. We can always add a little bit of extra flour if we feel like we need it. Now I've got a second bowl here, which is gonna be for the breadcrumbs. So I like to do a bit of a mixture here, and I just grabbed what I could from my supermarket shop, which was some natural breadcrumbs, which are quite fine in texture, and then also some panko breadcrumbs, and they are a bit sort of um, chunkier and more um, sort of crunchy. So I think that the combination of the two is really nice. Of course, if you don't have both, then you can just use one or the other. That's absolutely fine, it's not an issue. So let's get some of those into my bowl. You can always add more but you can't kind of reuse them. So I just tend to put in what I think is going to be roughly the right amount and then I just add a bit more if I need it. So let's, oh, blimey, that's hard to open. Let's open this one, add some of those in as well. And now we want to season these so that they taste really, really good. So that's quite easy, really. We want salt and pepper as a starting point black pepper. I'm going to use some garlic granules and also some dried oregano. You can add whatever you like extra into here. You could want, might want to do some onion powder, some Italian seasonings, some paprika. It's really up to you how you season them, but I want to keep them fairly simple. 
And now let's just give those a little mix together. So we've got some nice seasoned breadcrumbs and we've got those fine breadcrumbs and those chunky, crispy panko ones. So just giving this batter one last little beat. And then what you wanna do is get one of your pieces of calamari, dip it in. It is a loose, wet batter. Lots of air bubbles in there. And then I just get that into the breadcrumbs. Just give that a toss around, get those to stick to the outside, which they do very nicely indeed. Perfect. And there we have our first little calamari, all breaded and ready for the air fryer. So we just now need to go along and make the rest. Obviously you could make a lot more than I'm making. I got this calamari frozen actually in a seafood mix and I used some of the other seafood for a different recipe and then I just saved the calamari so that I could make these separately, which is quite nice. So you just want to um, defrost them in the fridge if you've got frozen like I had. I defrosted them in the fridge and then um, because they were quite wet, I've just laid them on some kitchen towel just to remove the moisture and that just helps obviously with this process that we're doing here. Obviously if you can get hold of fresh then great, just depends how easy it is where you live to what you can get hold of sometimes. So I'm just going to keep repeating this and these aren't going to take very long to cook. This is the bit that takes the longest. Just give it a good drip there. Find it a little bit easier to use the two forks. Um, and I'm not getting my hands dirty, which is always nice. I like to preheat my air fryer. So let's get that on 200 Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit fahrenheit um for about 10 minutes that is nice and hot when these go in because the thing is with calamari you don't want to overcook them so you want it nice and hot when they go in so they cook fast and stay tender air fryer is nice and hot which is brilliant what you want to do is spray your basket with some oil because this is just going to prevent the calamari from sticking and now we lay them in, oh, you can hear that sizzle. And you wanna try and get a single layer of these because that airflow around them is what's gonna cook them nice and evenly. And we want these lovely and crispy. As you can see, they've just got a nice light coating on them. Got some tiny little ones here. One more to go in, one more little tiny one. There you go. Give them a spray with some oil on top, like that. That's just gonna help them go nice and crispy and colored. Now we're gonna air fry on 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit for four minutes. Four minutes, here goes. So we've got around 20 seconds or so left on this first cook. Now, as I said, calamari don't take very long. I'm going to open up the lid after the four minutes. Have a look at them. They're probably just going to need flipping over and maximum probably a minute on the other side. I will spray them with a little bit of extra oil if I think that they need it. So just be gentle with them. Give them a flip over. These are looking absolutely brilliant. Look at these. So tasty. And remember that breadcrumb, it's got lovely seasoning on that. So it's gonna taste really, really good. And by spraying the bottom of the um, air fryer basket here, they're not sticking too bad at all. We've got a couple of, a couple like that one, which is slightly stuck, but it does just come off pretty easily and we can flip them over. And one more minute. Let's get them out. Oh, so crispy on the outside. Look at these. How good do these look? Such an easy starter as well. If you've got people coming over and you want something to make, then give these a try. Last few here. And there you go. That is my air fryer calamari 
served with a nice sriracha mayonnaise and we've got some lemon slices on the side.